Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. If you could please take your seats, we'll resume and get started. If you could please take your seats. Great. Welcome back from break. And j just to make a, an observation as we move into the next session, that this is that this is the UN's International Year of Water Cooperation. And so uh, we very much hope that our event this week captures this spirit as we move through this, the discussions and, and conversations. So before uh, we dive into the next panel, I'd like to introduce Dr. Rajan Saxena, who is Vice Chancellor of the Institute of Management Studies, our host today. Mr. Vice Chancellor, please. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Morrison, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome from NMIMS, which I actually I should have done it right in the morning at 9 o'clock. It's not the time to be giving you a warm welcome, but it's going over after the tea break. And I would certainly be the last person to be standing at this point of time on a topic which is of such a significant importance to all of us, which is in terms of the water. But nonetheless, having been called upon on behalf of NMIMS, let me not only welcome you all, but also mention that uh, how important to us is this entire mission, how important to us is our involvement today in the, in the society, and making an institution different from what we generally see across in most of the education institutions. I was listening to some of the discussions that was happening just in a few minutes back at the corporate panel and we were talking about a whole lot of our engagement with the corporate. I think today, and, and, and the theme is on multi-stakeholder part of it, I think it is today important that the institutions must also get engaged in this entire agenda, in this entire process itself, when we talk about the water mission itself. And, uh, and it was from this kind of a perspective that last year, the last two years, when Fiki had this water mission in the, in the chamber, and they had involved the education subcommittee, of which I chair, co-chair, one of the kind of aspects that we had talked about at that point of time was that how do we bring the institutions in this kind of a loop? Because institutions can be a very major resource especially those institutions that are engaged today in a community engagement itself, in one way or the other. At NMIMS, uh, it's a credo, it's a belief that uh, the university's existence is standing on two basic principles. One is the research. Obviously, research becomes an imperative part. No institution, no institution of higher learning can grow unless and until we are able to generate new body of knowledge. And the other part of it is in terms of developing a socially sensitive graduates. And if we are talking about socially sensitive graduates, quite clearly we are talking about in terms of understanding almost every aspect of sustainability, the sustainability of the environment. And it is there that we feel that uh, we not only need to be researching, but we also need to get involved in a whole lot of a work that is happening in this vast area of sustainability, whether it is education, it is community development, it is the child development, or it is for that matter, let us say, the water engagement itself, and, and engaging with the communities in terms of water conservation and water recycling. The university has a, a rural campus in North Maharashtra, in a district called Dhulia, and uh, in a small little village called Shirpur, we have a, our president has done, along with a, one of our very committed soldiers, Mr. Khanapurka, can you just please stand up? Mr. Khanapurka belongs to all of us, 
This Shikhana Purkar and our president has done something remarkable as a kind of a model that can, that is, that, that is truly replicable and scalable if we are talking about water conservation and water recycling. With the low cost technology, he's been able to, to, to show to the world that how water can be put, conserved and then cycled. It can be how the water table can be uplifted by using simple kind of technologies of excavators and, and some of the other kind of things, making the drains broader so that the water can be preserved. Small dams, not really big dams, something which has been talked about and a major controversy that is going on today, whether the small dam is a better solution or it is a big dam which is a, which is a better solution. Consistently in India, what has been seen, whether it is in Shirpur or it has been in Madhya Pradesh, where I was involved as a director of an IAM, that the check dams, the smaller dams, were far more sustainable for the purposes of ensuring that there, the community values water, that the water is conserved, water is cycled, water is recycled, and it is certainly becomes the main livelihood it supports the livelihood of the community. We now, as a university, would take this forward and take it to other communities, not just mainly in Shirpur, but we are going to be taking it across to some of the other neighboring communities. And it is at this point of time, therefore, when this kind of a mandate, the, C, the, the CEO water mandate came up and uh, Mr. Morrison wrote to us, we were more than happy to welcome this kind of a mandate because it was certainly bringing you all to us but at the same time to also show you showcase what we are doing and also see that how NMIMS as an institution can get integrated in this whole mandate and how as an educational institution we can contribute further because ultimately at the end of the day if the communities grow institutions grow but if the communities are not going to grow, no institution can survive. So with these words, let me take this opportunity of saying thank you very much for giving us this opportunity and once again a very hearty welcome to NMIMS and to SVKM, a trust that has been in existence for 72 years. It's a public trust, ladies and gentlemen, a public trust, a charitable trust whose vice president is sitting right in front of me, Mr. Balwan Sheikh. People who have been philanthropists, people who have come forward just to support education and community without any kind of a selfish motive, without any kind of a self motive. In a selfless service, an example of a selfless service is what we see as the Shri Vilepalli Kelvani Mandu, who runs all these institutions in this area that you see. Thank you very much.